the medical students in the clinic today um, and the GP has just sent me to um, examine your spine if that's okay. So we're going to first have a look at the neck and then have a look at the lower back. I'm going to get you to do a few movements with your leg um, just to see um, if everything is going alright. Um, for this examination um, I'll need you to take your shirt off if that's okay. Um, for the neck we'll um, leave the shirt on but afterwards I'll get you to take the shirt off. And everything that we discussed today will remain confidential between you, me and the treating team. Now, is that okay with you? Yeah. Great. So just confirming your full name. Frank Smith. Yep. And your date of birth? 1st of September 1999. Yep. And your age? 21. Yep. And your occupation? A student. Yep. And are you of Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander origin? Yep. Okay. Great. So we'll get started with that. If that's okay? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so on general inspection, um, there was no signs of abnormal gait um, while you were walking in the door. And do you take any medications at all? No. no. And I didn't notice any walking aids um, while you were walking, so that's good. Um, and the patient is of normal body habitus as well, so that's good. So we're now going to move on to localised examination of the neck. Okay, so now I'm just going to have a general look around the neck. So I'm just having a general inspection, no signs of deformity, no signs of muscle um, atrophy or hypertrophy, no signs of uh, redness or any rashes or any trauma to the area, um, no signs of swelling or any scars either, which is good. Um, alrighty, have you injured your neck at all recently? No. Okay, great. So now I'm just going to have a feel. So first, feeling from the top, and then going down here, any pain at all? So no pain in the midline. So feeling the landmarks as well. So this is around C2. And then can I get you to um, bend your neck forward? Yep, and then back. Yep, so that's feeling for the most prominent part, which is C6, so no abnormalities there. And just feeling around, yep. And okay, so the spinous processes and the inter, um, vertebral spaces seem to be good and no abnormalities there. So now I'm just going to get you to do a few movements if that's okay. So can I get you to bend your neck forward and back as far as you can. Great. Um, and then can I get you to move sideways? Yep. And can I get you to look over your shoulder? Yep. And on the other side? Okay, great. Any pain while you're moving? Okay, so no reduced uh, range of movement either. Okay, so now we're just going to feel for any tenderness um, along the thoracolumbar spine. So first feeling for any midline tenderness. Any pain along these regions? No. Great. And I'm going to feel for the individual spinous processes as well as the intervertebral spaces. So no abnormalities felt. No. I'm also going to feel for the facet joints, which are two to three um, centimeters lateral to the spinous processes. Any pain? No. Great. And I'm going to feel for the specific landmarks. So identifying the superior angle of the scapula, and this is the T2. And then the inferior angles, which is T7. So any pain? And then T... T5, I mean L4, L5, and there are abnormalities there. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to get you to do a few movements. So stabilizing the pelvis, can I get you to rotate your, um, yeah, rotate your back, great, and the other side, great, so no reduced range of movement there. So can I just get you to first touch your toes and go as far as you can, as far as you can, great, okay, you can stand back up now, and can I get you to stretch your head? back like this, go as far as you can, okay great, and can I get you to bend sideways like that, yep, any pain there, and on the other side, yep, okay, so no signs of reduced range of movement there, which is good, so now I'm just going to do the Schroenberg test, um, and this is testing for reduced lumbar flexion, um, mainly an ankylosing spondylitis, um, so, oh, so first, I'm just going to find the pieces it's around here, I'm going to mark this area with a pen and then I'm going to go 10 centimeters above this area. So 10 centimeters, which is here, and then 5 centimeters below that area. 
just here. Okay, so now can I just get you to um, touch your toes again? You can go as far as possible. Yep, so that's more than five centimeters increase, so that's a negative short vertical test. So you can stand up and up there. Great. All right, All right so now I'm going to do two tests, but test for um, sciatica, which is the way you have pain down um, your legs. So first, I'm just going to get you to relax while I move your leg for you. So any pain? No? Okay. But if you were to feel any pain, um, let's say you felt pain here, I would first dorsiflex the foot and that would usually make it worse. And then flex the knees, which would usually make it better. And I'll repeat on the other side. Did you feel any pain on the other leg while I was... No. Okay, great. So I'm just going to repeat on the side. Any pain? And any pain on the other leg? No. Okay, great. So no abnormalities detected for sciatica. Okay, so that concludes the end of our examination. Um, thank you for your time. Um, I would also examine the upper and lower limb peripheral nerve examination, um, as well as the hip and the shoulder joint, but that's not required today. I'll report my findings back to the GP and we'll get back to you with the results. Thank you.